every Sunday we had to go to Nanu and Nana, that's Grandma and Grandpa, we had to go to their house for suco, which is sauce, okay? And then we had pasta canzarde, that was with sardines, we had pasta valula, that was with the beans, we had pasta with cardboard, we had pasta with everything, okay? When we went to Nana and Nana's house, they were waiting for us to greet them with respect so they could respond to it. And of course, we were only busy playing. That was all we knew. We wanted to play with either Grandpa's cards, stay away from the Shvatum, because it was, it was spit. And his name was Shvatatsa, which also means spit, or Shvatum, okay? And that's the Italian way. Okay, or else we were down in the cellar. The cellar, not a basement, a cellar where they made the wine, they broke the chicken's neck, and our pet bunny rabbit was down there in the cellar, not a basement, the cellar. And of course, that's all we would play. So we would be playing whatever we had. There were no toys or video games. And Nana finally would say, Hey, how come you know Sabenerica Yonanna? And with trembling fear, we would say, Sabenerica Nana. And she would say, no, Sir Benedict, I will not know. You better boy. Uh, oh, yes, we were either a better boy or a good boy. My sister was either a bad de gal or a good de gal. It was only one or the other. You were the good or bad da. So, in order to get on the good side of Nando and Nanna, we had to show them the respect by singing something in the Italian language or Sicilian. So here's a song that we used to sing for Nando and Nana on the west side because they were of the Italian heritage. It's a beautiful Italian song called Sotecella di Roma, which means on an evening in Rome.
Yes, let's